So this is the Moodle site which has been integrated with Google Apps and Mahara. So the benefit of using Google Apps with Moodle is the main feature of using the site will be an SSO which means any user that is created in Moodle will be automatically created in the Google Apps of a particular school domain. And now we are just going to see how this is exactly working and what are all the benefits we can get from this integrated site. So now I'm just going to log in into the Moodle site as an administrator. So the username of the administrator is school admin. And, and the password will be also as a school admin. Or lowercase. Or lowercase. So here is our integrated side. Okay. So as an admin, first we should check on the classes if we have a pre-enrolled classes or else let us start with the adding up of users to the site. Okay. Can I just interrupt because I see something which I want to show here. If we look at this one of the tags, it says Google Apps. So this Google okay. Apps is the Gmail, Calendar and the Docs which are integrated into this uh, Moodle. So my understanding okay. is if I log in with my username, my Google account, all my information will also show up that yes, obvious. yes, obviously. Okay. So if you want to open up your uh, school email, straight away you can click on this Gmail link and this will take you to your school email account. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So, Not seen. Okay. You yeah. have to create an email account for that particular ad. But we can no, log in yeah, with another account and you can show right. the Gmail account calendar on that. Okay, we can cut this clip then okay so here is how we are going to add up the users to the site so go to site administration click on users click on accounts and now if you want to add a single user you should click on add a new user and if you have an excel sheet which has the list of usernames and passwords and their information straight away you can go for bulk user actions and now we are just going to see a demo with how to add a single user. What about if somebody wants to connect to their LDAP and all? Or their active directory that they already have? Obviously, uh, they can use the same settings, but they should choose this authentication method as an LDAP. So, right. okay. here, okay. right after entering their username, okay. if it is in case of a single user, if you have the list in, the games of, in terms of Excel sheet, mm -hmm. straight away you can go to bulk user actions and okay. or else straight away you can go for upload users nice. just go there and here you can pull up your file and that excel sheet will be having the columns as we have seen for a single user for example the username authentication method password and those blah 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 and those informations will be there yeah. and based upon what we are giving there that will be considering it as a google app authentication okay. or a Moodle authentication or an LDAP server authentication so can you show me how I create a teacher account and a student account? Yeah, obviously. We are just going to first create a teacher account. So I'm going to have the teacher account username as teacher1. And I'm saying that this user needs to be created in my Google Apps as well. So obviously the authentication for this should be selected as Google SAML authentication. And after that, I'm just going to give the password for this teacher account, which is teacher1. And a first name. So this can be their personal email account, which which will be used once they forget their Moodle username or pa uh, Moodle username and password, so that the forget password link will take some information from their Moodle site to their personal email account where they can reset their password. And here you should enter your location details. And now you need to click on create a user. So 
So now you have got a teacher account. Can you also create a student account at the same time? So we have that. Yes, obviously. So now we are going to add a student account here. So let us say the username of the student be student1. And this user also needs to be authenticated via Google SAML. And the password is student1. stu.21 at gmail.com so enter your location details as well now at the end click on create a user okay so here we got our users. So in the next process is we are going to check the users created are able to log in into the mo this Moodle site or not. So for that we are just going to log out from the site. Log in. Now I'm trying to enter into the site with the teacher account. Wow, it takes me into the Moodle. Okay. And now I'm going to check my Google integration facilities where I have got Google Apps, which includes Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Docs, and also a start page. So let us see what happens if I'm clicking this Gmail. It says invalid email. So this is nothing but once we create a user account in the Moodle site, that user must be synced with the Google Apps. So to do that an admin should do Google Sync from their admin account. Admin, uh, school admin. No, it's a school admin. So now you should go to Google User Sync at the bottom and click on Add Users to Sync. And here you will be having the list of your new users which you have created. So just select that users and click on Add Users to Sync. And you need to click on Users Being Synced where you can monitor whether these users are synced or not. And this site also has a Mahara integrated, which is a portfolio system, particularly that can be used with a Moodle, which is one of the very useful tool for the stu or for the schools to use Mahara as a portfolio system. What we will do is uh, if this waiting period, we can also edit it. In, uh, yeah. Oh, now we got synchronized. And we can verify this by just going to log out as an admin and again log in with the teacher account. And that way we can verify whether that user has been created or not. So that is one way of verification. And I will show you uh, another method which a Google App administrator can do to verify these settings. That will be this process number two. So for the first time, it will ask you for uh, a certain terms and conditions saying that you need to accept. So I'm just clicking on I accept and continue to my account. So what if I already have a Gmail account? It will automatically uh, pull up that account and connect with this uh, okay. Moodle account. And that should be the school domain name. It should not be something else.
okay and what a google administrator can do is google app administrator so they can log in into their google app oh they have already logged in as teacher one into the moodle site so it automatically logs in into our gmail and all the google accounts okay. so we should log out from that before that admin check checks for the particular user so this setting should be from the google domain i mean google apps domain of the particular school and that should be maintained by the admin So, so here are the usernames. 